AI impacts. Apple defeats. GPT-4. Chat GPT free. Emerging Xbox AI. Kingdom. The new artificial intelligence system from Apple promises to surpass GPT-4, revolutionizing Siri's capabilities. Are we at the dawn of a new era in AI interaction? After requests for Siri's improvement, a study from Apple's AI team provides us with a vision of their current efforts, including the development of Kingdom. This system is designed to improve Siri's ability to understand the flow of conversations, identify what is shown on the screen, and detect environmental sounds. Kingdom stands out for its focus on resolving references, that is, how Siri can correctly refer to things in conversations, a linguistic challenge that differs from previous methods that focused more on the conversation itself. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't done so yet. Let's continue. This new approach allows Kingdom to convert the content and sounds of the conversation screen into text that large language models can better understand, leveraging their ability to grasp the meaning of words and phrases. In their study, the Apple team compared the Kingdom models with GPT-3.5 and GPT-4, the technologies behind the free GPT chat and the subscription GPT chat. Their studies showed that even the smallest version of Kingdom is as good as GPT-4, and the larger versions of Kingdom are even better. The researchers explained that their smallest Kingdom model was more than 5% better at handling different types of information, especially that which appears on the screen, compared to GPT-3.5 and GPT-4. This smaller model was on the same level as GPT-4 and the larger Kingdom models were clearly superior. Kingdom comes in four sizes, Kingdom 8 million, Kingdom 250 million, Kingdom 1 billion and Kingdom 3 billion where M represents millions and B represents billions of parameters. To give an idea, GPT 3.5 has 175 billion parameters, while GPT 4 has approximately 1.5 trillion parameters. The research article highlights that Kingdom is not only better than previous methods, but also competes with GPT 4 which is the latest and most advanced, despite the fact that Kingdom has many fewer parameters. Apple has not yet announced whether it will implement this new technology in iOS 18 or in future devices, but if they do, Siri could become much smarter. Meanwhile, Microsoft is also delving into artificial intelligence, specifically within the Xbox ecosystem. They are currently testing a new Xbox chatbot with artificial intelligence technology designed to automate support tasks making it easier for users to get help with issues such as game refunds or troubleshooting without the need to navigate through traditional support channels. This intelligent chatbot uses Microsoft's extensive collection of Xbox support information so it can handle many different questions and even process refunds on the spot. They plan to test it more, which suggests that it could soon become a regular feature for Xbox support. Jang, who is in charge of gaming AI at Xbox, mentioned how this chatbot is designed to make getting help simpler. It can understand what you're asking naturally and find answers directly in Xbox support materials. This effort is part of a grand vision within Microsoft to infuse AI into all its gaming platforms. They are not only thinking about using AI to help with customer service, but also to create parts of the games, ensure they run smoothly, and make the games themselves more interesting. For example, they are using AI to do game art testing and even create characters that feel real. With the help of a company called InWorld, they are also thinking about using AI to keep games safe and friendly, helping with the rules and ensuring everyone plays well on Xbox. Microsoft might even include AI assistance in games to give tips to players or make the games even more fun. Although these ideas are big, Microsoft has not talked much about them in public. They are being careful because people have mixed feelings about AI and games. But Microsoft's CEO, Satya Nadella, is really interested in the idea of putting AI in all their products, including games. Microsoft has a plan called Xbox Everywhere, which means they want you to be able to play Xbox games on many different devices. AI is an important part for that to happen. They even hinted at a new Xbox that would use a lot of AI to do some really interesting things. Right now, in the midst of an avalanche of advances in AI from giants like Apple and Microsoft, 
OpenAI has just launched an interesting update for ChatGPT. Now you can use it for free without needing to log in. This step aims to make AI technology easier for everyone to use, something like how simple it is to use a search engine. Starting today, you can start using the chat GPT 3.5, which brings us closer to OpenAI's dream of making AI tools available to everyone and awakening interest in what AI can do. If you're enjoying the content, remember to like and subscribe. You would help us a lot. This update is part of a broader trend in which tech giants are working hard to make AI easier to use and useful. Apple, for example, is working to make Siri better in conversations with something called Kingdom, and Microsoft is testing an AI chatbot to help Xbox users. The AI movement to make GPT chat easier to access is a big step to make AI more common, and it sets it in motion against traditional search engines that shake things up about how we find and use information online. However, OpenAI has said that the things people talk about with GPT chat could be used to improve the model, but if you don't want to, you can opt not to share your chats by changing your settings. This option is not very clear when you start using it. OpenAI has incorporated more security features and has ensured that GPT chat does not talk about a wider range of topics to keep the free version safe for everyone. Still, some features like saving your chat, sharing it, and using voice or special instructions are only for people who register for an account, whether free or paid. Here's another interesting update. Google has decided to delete any search history or data it collects from us when we are using incognito mode. Before, this information was not saved on our devices, but Google still kept a record of it. Now they will delete it, which will give us more privacy when we browse in incognito mode. And here's something else that's quite interesting. A team of researchers from the University of Oxford has developed Drug GPT, an innovative artificial intelligence tool with the aim of improving healthcare. This tool provides health professionals in England a digital resource to prescribe medications safely. Doctors can enter a patient's health problems into Drug GPT, which quickly suggests medications, alerts about possible side effects, and checks for drug interactions. What sets Drug GPT apart is its ability to not only offer suggestions, but also explain the why of its recommendations, backing itself up with relevant research and references. Drug GPT, an innovative AI tool developed by researchers from the University of Oxford, is designed to improve medication prescribing and reduce errors, which cost England's NHS around £98 million a year and have resulted in more than 1,700 deaths. This AI tool provides busy doctors with detailed information about the medications they prescribe, improving the understanding of prescriptions and potentially helping patients to follow their treatment plans more closely. Do you think AI has the potential to revolutionize healthcare? Leave us your opinion in the comments. If you like the content, don't forget to like and share it. Your support is greatly appreciated and helps us continue to share interesting information. Thank you.